when you're standing over a hive of thousands of stinging insects and the slightest wrong move can set them off, you learn real quick to take some time, breathe, step away if you have to, come back when you're in the right mind. My name is Nick Hefley. I'm from Astoria, Queens, and I'm an urban beekeeper. I really set out just to sell enough honey to pay for my mm -hmm. hobby and have a good time. And it was very interesting and kind of a novel thing to do right in the middle of a city like New York. My former job involved the film and television industry. I worked in post-production as a motion graphics artist. I really enjoyed it. I really loved telling stories, but there's something really special about being out in the breeze and enjoying nature, and beekeeping really gives that to me. Currently, I own about 25 hives, but I manage a little over 60 hives around the city. And on my average day, I'm going to visit three or maybe four different bee yards or apiaries around the city. I need to go there to inspect the hives generally, to make sure that they're doing well, that they're thriving. Coffee is a big part of my day. The Starbucks Double Shot Espresso is a great way to get into my commute. During the day, it's always nice to stop off and have a nice cup of coffee or even an iced coffee. The ready-made iced coffee really fits into my on-the-go lifestyle. Some of the big obstacles to overcome for beekeeping in New York City is space. If we're lucky, we have a nice rooftop that might sustain two or three or four hives. So you end up having a bunch of these small apiaries all over the place. The other big thing, especially on top of buildings, is working with heights. It can be dangerous and you really have to be aware of your surroundings. The main thing that makes you ready to deal with any situation that comes along is having an open mind. If I had thought about jumping into beekeeping a few years ago, it would have been kind of a ridiculous idea. But selling some honey to try to pay for the hobby and all these little incremental opportunities that came along, I think really helped shape what we have now. The next time that you're eating any kind of food or enjoying any beverage that comes from any type of fruit or vegetable, most likely bees had something to do with it. Beekeeping is absolutely fascinating and there's always something new to learn and it's a never-ending education. Mm -hmm.